Okay, Pro Tools exercise files, how to download them. Well, if you have a PC laptop from school, you don't need to download anything. You've got Pro Tools, you've got the plugins, you've got the exercise files, all you need is the iLock from the equipment checkout room and you're good to go. If you have downloaded Pro Tools on your own home computer, then yes, you're gonna have to download everything, but you'll be on your own computer, so it's all good. So let's start with the exercise files. To get the exercise files, again, you can do everything you need to do this week as far as downloads go and everything else are as traditionally, this is the way it is every week, is in the module overview and assignments page. So we could do that here or we could just take a little shortcut and do that here on the uh, computer requirements and downloads page. This like the overview page has everything you need to download in the order you need to download it. So here you go. If you haven't done it yet, download the exercise media you will be using in your assignments. So there are two folders and two set and a set of plugins. So number one, Pro Tools 101 exercise media. Uh, locate this folder and download. So when you click on this link, it takes you to a folder that has multiple folders within it. You don't need to download all these folders. You only need to download Pro Tools 101 Exercise Media. And the way you do that is right here, as you can see, when you scroll along each row, each row highlights and there's um, a set of three vertical dots. That is the Show Actions button. Click on that and hit download. And this will download to my downloads folder. And then let's see what happens. I'll just get it going. It'll take a while, it's several hundred megabytes. And what I would do is just go to Pro Tools 110, select it like this, click on the three dots or the show actions button, download, And now it's doing that. So you also need the plugins. So if you've downloaded Pro Tools, um, you've downloaded the application, but there are lots of uh, exercises that require certain plugins, uh, EQ filters, um, compression filters, reverb filters, and then we're going to be doing things with MIDI, which is a virtual keyboard plugin, which allows us to basically hit our computer keyboard and create music. And but you can't do that unless you have the plugin. So um, there's a whole suite of them. So if you're on a Mac, click on this link that says Pro Tools Plugins if you have a Mac. If you're on a PC, click on Pro Tools Plugins if you have a PC. And again, if you have borrowed a PC laptop from the school, you don't need to do this. Um, but if you're on your own home computer, you do. So I'm on a Mac, so I'll click this one, and it says download and install all of them. I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, there are a lot of um, plugin folders. So there um, is a lot of stuff to download and then install. So what I would do, instead of just going through one by one by one, you can, next to the left of each folder is a little circle that allows you to do a check mark. See that? And now they're all highlighted. Now I'll just click on any one of these show action buttons and hit download. And what it will do is since they're all selected, all of them will be downloaded into one big folder. But then when you do that, you then have to open up each individual one and install them. So make sure you do that after and only after you install Pro Tools. Because if you don't install Pro Tools, these plugins won't know where to go. Pro Tools is like the house, and these are all the people coming to the house, but they need to have to have a house to go to. Um, so what does it look like when you download all these folders on your computer? Well, these are done downloading, so let's see what it looks like. As you can see, there's lots of megabytes, hundreds and hundreds 
And uh, in fact, probably about eight gigabytes total of stuff you'd be downloading. Okay, so here is Exercise Media 101. And as you can see, you should have a folder in here that says uh, uh, exer Exercise 5, Exercise Media, Completed Projects, and Hands-On Projects. Um, we're gonna be using all of this stuff every week during the weekly exercises. This is for the first half of the semester, Pro Tools 101. And then, where did you go? Here it is. Here's the one we'll use in the second half of the semester, which is Pro Tools 110. And while it's, that's doing that, I'm gonna download just one of these bundles. Again, download all of them. I'm just gonna do a, a quick one here. Cause I already have all these on my own computer, but some of these will take a while to open up because like I said, they're like hundreds and hundreds of megabytes with tons of files in them. And here we go. Okay. Now there's the Pro Tools 110 folder. You should have some things that sound a little more exciting than the 101 folder. Off to work, MX0, which for those that took the 9-1 class, you'll uh, recognize that. That's the uh, motorcycle helicopter espionage thriller. Uh, Ugly Duckling, that's a insurance ad we'll be working with. Trouble Trouble, I forgot what that is. Uh, I think it's like a voiceover thing. Actually, no, it's, like an, it's an effects thing. And then Inferno. So some of these have videos, some of them don't. So just make sure those are on your both of your computers. Now, when you download all these plugins, you're going to have to double click on the big folder that they all came in and then they, they'll, they'll be housed within them. And then you'll have something, this, this will be one of them. Uh, one of these plugins is called Air Effects Bundle. So like I said, you have to download them and install all of them. So double click. And it will, if you're on a Mac, this is what it looks like. It expands it. Uh, if you're on a PC, it'll be something similar. Okay. Now, I'm not going to install this because I already have this on my computer. But you, what you'll see, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, after you double click on this one effect uh, bundle, you will see an installer file. What you want to do is double click on it. and then just hit continue multiple times. It's just letting you know it's installing something. And it's letting you know how much space it'll take up on your computer. You hit install and when it installs, it'll see Pro Tools and attach itself to it. So you need to do this for each, oops. Oh, you need to do this for each one of these plug-in packages and once you do that then everything will be installed in Pro Tools um, all of its plugins and the exercise media and you'll be fully ready to take this class.